Hi guys, I'm Matt from the Azitest team and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your S-Brick with a very simple creation. Here is the S-Brick. It's flashing there. And I'm going to be using it to power this extremely simple Lego thing which we put together for the case of this video. It's nothing fancy, it's only driving and turning. Okay, so here is the S brick, which we are going to open. Well, we already opened it, but this is another one. Anyway, so it comes like this. You're going to have to open it. <coughs> it is compatible with iOS, Android, and Windows. It says on the back that it is compatible with all LEGO Technic Power functions. The application is free and works with smart devices with Bluetooth 4.0+. plus running iOS 8.0 plus and Android 4.3 plus and Windows Phone and Windows 8.1 plus it says it right there this bottom part so if you do not have the ones that it's compatible with then I'm sorry but it's pointless to buy one it, because it only works, the application which controls the s brick only works with those ones so, let's get onto the program which runs it all. Okay, so now I am on my tablet and I am going to link it with the S brick which I have on my Lego car. I'm going to set it up properly. So, first of all, I need to open S brick, let's wait for it to load. You have to enable Bluetooth. Bluetooth enabled. It's going to be loading. So here we have the tutorial. You can read it for yourself if you want. Okay, it it's not exactly the best uh, sensitive. Skip on them. Very sorry. The side. Okay. Let's play. Alright, so now I'm going to set it up with the car. So let's just add one. Let's call it Azotus Car. Because why not? Now you can take a picture here. Okay. That. Just to have you one. Okay, that didn't help. Okay. There we go. Save. Wait, no. Okay, I'm messing up here. This is not going very well. Okay, save. And then that is not going to be our picture for it. Remote control profiles, you click on that and then it loads. And then you can choose one um, here. Stop clicking on that, not click on there. Just gonna go with a very simple one. Yes, I want to set up now. Now we're gonna to turn on the S brick. Turn on the S brick. First of all. And then let's test which ones they're in. Which one they are in? Nope. Nope. But okay, that's C. Sorry. <laughs> and that's I'm guessing D. Yep. We'll add that to there. Well, let's bring this back here. And save. Hopefully, I did it in the right one. So, save. Now we can just play with it. Well, let's click on that and it. Okay, it didn't work. Well, I guess I could always do this. And then you have it all set up. And I cannot drive this properly. So if that happens, you can always just um, 
Yeah. Do that. I. Okay. Um. Settings. Oh no! Undo. Undo. <laughs> Change to this. C. This to D. Save. Save. Then try again. And it, yay, it works. And then we have it set up. You can see there. That did not sound good. What happened here? Okay. So that's how to set up Esbrick with a phone or tablet or iPad or iPhone. Okay, so we have made a video on us driving this and recording it with this. Obviously this was the remote control. <clears throat> we just put in the phone here, like so, and wedged it in place with a piece like that and then the camera on it could record it perfectly fine and <clears throat> the video for that is going now Okay, so we're going to put in the back, the rear drive thingy. I'm going to take this first of all off and add this in. So, we can change the speed for, quick, uh, for quicker and slower. Um, yeah. Then add this on. So, add this in here and the two gears. So, has to go to the side like so. And there we have the mechanism for it to drive. This here is a slower one, and this here is a faster one. Okay, so now we're going to add in the steering. First we'll take these off. That can stay in there. Off that go. And add this in. Again, this is just, well not again, just, this is a, just a simple car, nothing spectacular, it's only here to have a look at S, S, S brick, go, put that back on the top, connect this here, There we go. Wait. There we go. Okay, now we are going to finish it off, add in the battery box and the S brick which makes it all work. 
well, apart from the battery box, but yeah. So, first of all, let's put the S brick and the <coughs> wire together. There. Add this in here. And place the S brick here. Connect it with the battery box. Connect these with the S brick. And voila! We've got it done, apart from the wheels. The wheels are yet to come. Here are the wheels. Well, two of them. So let's just put the back. Take apart the model while I was doing so. Um, there we go. And the other side. And on the front. There we go. The other side. And there is our model complete.